This is a little lesson in dominant and recessive characteristics. Um, most often the one that's easiest to see is dilute or non-dilute or black or chocolate. And this is a little example of how one hides the other. Each rabbit carries two pieces of a gene that make up that particular part. They may be dominant, they may be recessive. In this case, we have one, two. So if this was, for instance, let's say the dominant represents black and the recessive, which is this, represents chocolate. If your rabbit were to have two dominants, that would be the one that you saw. If the rabbit were to have two recessives, the recessive would be the one that's expressed. If your rabbit had one of each, the recessive can be very easily hidden behind the dominant. So if we have two rabbits that each carries a dominant and recessive, so they would each have a recessive that's hidden behind the dominant, those two rabbits could produce offspring that carried two dominants. Those two rabbits might produce an offspring that carried a dominant and a recessive, but that would mean the recessive is hidden behind the dominant. Or those two rabbits might carry, both carrying the recessive, might produce a rabbit that is two recessives, in which case it would be both the recessives being expressed.